Let's have a look at problem five. You throw an ordinary die three times. What is the probability that the product of the results, number of spots up in each throw, is an even number? Hmm. Okay. Um, where to start on this one? Hmm. So I'm a very visual person. I like to visualize everything. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a specific example here. So we have, of course, three dies. I always found it weird that uh, die is the singular form of dice. Um, let's see. So we have three of those like that. So that's the facing up, right? So let's say that for the first one, we get a one. The second one, we get a two. And the third one, we have, uh, let's say, a five, for example like that. Okay, so that's one of them, right? And in this case, the product would be one times two, that's two times five, that's 10. Okay, so we're dealing with a total of six possibilities for each of them, right? It could be any one of one through six. And so for each one, it's six and, and half of them are even and half of them are odd. So let's write those down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. This one is odd. Let's do O for odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. Okay, that makes sense. You got six possibilities uh, for each of the rolls and you have, or rather each die, and then you have, um, you know, half of them being odd and half of them being even. And what they're asking for is what is the probability that the product of the results is an even number? Okay, so let's not think about all of the possibilities because it's not really important if you're getting a two versus a four because at the end of the day, both of them are even, right? Really, that's what we're after here. So let's say that I delete this. And then we go with the first option. Well, the first option that could be um, that could be an even number for the first one. Now it could be an even number for the second one. It could be an even number for the last one, right? That's a possibility. And so if we were to multiply those numbers out, what they're asking for is what is the probability that the product of the results is an even number? Now, what are we gonna get if we multiply three even numbers together? Obviously, we're gonna get an even number. So let's write that down. That's an even number, okay? Now, what's the other possibility that could happen? Well, you can still go with an even number on the first one. You can still go with a even number on the second one, but maybe the last one you rolled an odd number. In that case, if you were multiplying this out, this would also be an even number. Why? Well, because you only have one odd number, and as long as you have one even number, there is a factor of two right there, right? And any number that has a factor of two is by definition an even number. So this one is also an even number. Let's keep going. You got an even, odd, odd. That could be one scenario. In this case, it would also be even. And then of course you can get an odd, odd and odd. And this would actually be an odd number because there's no factor of two. So very rare we see. And then you get this. And then you might be inclined to say, okay, well, it's probably three, uh, three over four B. But did we take everything into account here? We did not because there is another scenario here, right? Well, more than one scenario really, where you could roll an even number first, and then an odd number, and then an even number. We didn't take that into account here. So that's another one here. So that's going to be, of course, uh, an even number as well. And then we have, what others do we have? Well, it could be an odd number, and an odd number, and then an even number at the end. And this would also be even, of course. And then we have um, an odd number an even number, and then an odd number, like that. 
which would give us an even number once more. Are there any that we forgot now? Well, let's see. So we got all the even ones up here, all the odd ones up here. And then we got the even, even, and then odd. And then we got even, odd, odd, and then odd, odd, odd. And then we have even, odd, even, odd, odd, even. And then we have odd, even, odd. So the one that we are missing here is going to be, let's see, that should be the first one being odd, and then you have even, even, right? We don't have that one yet. So odd and then two evens at the end. Then you also will get an even. Does that cover everything? Yeah, well, it actually does. So for, uh, for this one, Let's see if we have how many uh, how many possibilities we have. So at the end of the day, we've considered all of the possibilities here. And for one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, sorry, six and seven of them, those are even. And then the last one is odd. Okay, so total of eight outcomes like that. And how many of them are even? Seven out of those. So, the right answer is this one.